Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my take on Rory's build challenge for the month of July, which is house six. And as you can see, the floor plan and the look of the house is up here on the screen right now. And we will now go into my build. I do start with the house over to the left on the lot to start with, as I said, uh, but later on I move it over to be centered. So I have room on both sides to put different things. And this house has been built in Granite Falls, but it can be placed anywhere. But the picture in the um, that Rory builds had looked like it was over a river with a fireplace and Adirondack chairs and stuff. So I thought that it would be good to put it in Granite Falls and uh, to sort of mimic that look. I saw Crystal Sims did that and I thought it was a very very good idea but obviously you can put it anywhere in any world that you want and those windows on the top there you go I'm about to change them because I couldn't find the color that I like because I thought they should be white and those little two by two windows aren't <laughs> so I changed it to just be single windows side by side and I, the blue is the same as what was in the picture and I'm adding some columns and of course the stairs and the railing. Now the house is on the gallery and it is 55,117 simoleons. I am not sure if that includes the lot value. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm guessing it probably doesn't. That's probably the actual value of the house. And if you leave it, or if you place it in Granite Falls, it is 551 simoleons is the rent for the day, the daily rental or whatever they call it. At that point, I actually made the house a little bit bigger than it probably looks in the floor plan because I found that the living area and in particular the kitchen it didn't seem like there was enough room to put like the table that they showed in the picture on the floor plan and the uh, essentially in the little nook area. I thought it wouldn't necessarily work very well and I do have move objects on so I could have got it to work but I wanted to actually physically play. I did play test the house to make sure that uh, everything did work. This this layout of this bedroom here which is probably slightly bigger because it probably should be four by three and I make it four by four again just for ease of play in the room just so it wasn't quite so cramped not like it's a big room even at four by four but uh, I put instead of nightstands I put a little dresser there and I don't even end up putting lights on it instead I put those little lights on the wall that are essentially the ones that will keep the under the bed monsters away they're the new ones that came with Parenthood, which gives the kids a nice mood light. And this is the only room I put a carpet in, an area rug. I actually kind of forgot about putting it in anywhere else. I usually would put it in the other bedrooms and, and around the living room, though I do tend to use wood flooring in most of my house, because in houses, because in real life I like wood flooring or tile in you know, bathrooms and whatnot because I have allergies and I find carpets uh, are not supposed to be very good when you have allergies to environmental issues. So in Sims, I tend to use wood floors just like I like in real life. So I'm trying to think, oh, I'm looking here. I realize I need to add windows to the sides of the house because they are in the floor plan. You can see there are some there, but it's that point that I realize I don't like the windows that I used and I go for these ones that are from the Parenthood pack. And I sort of debate about the bathroom window, but instead I use the two squares that were the same as what are in the roof line. And when you look at this house on the gallery, you see the back of the house because well, the back of the house is I have built it, but the layout of the lot is that that is supposed to be the front but I like the front facing to the water, which is considered technically the back, so it doesn't show up with the front up on the gallery. And as you can see, I've built the, or furnished out the kitchen there. I use that uh, old fashioned looking fridge and stove and the counters are from Parenthood, as are these chairs and the couch that I added. I used quite a bit from Parenthood in this pack, but there is actually 
things from all three expansion packs, all five game packs, and I think five or six of the stuff packs. So it's kind of chock a lot We're using stuff from all the different, most of the different packs that are out there. I did leave a TV in there because I just find it's an easy way to keep Sims happy and if you keep them occupied they won't use it too much but they will autonomously go and use it. And of course that um, tile and the uh, chair rail thing is from Parenthood. I try and debate about using the columns there because I had move objects on which is why I was able to put it there but I just didn't like the way the lighting looked. It is it was supposed to be white and so I just took it away and then, like, as you can see I changed it so that the tile started at the window which you can't see and then I put some stone flooring around the fireplace because in real life it's good you're supposed to have something a mantle or whatnot underneath it for fire safety so that when sparks come out that's actually not probably far enough but you can't do you know partial you can do quarter tiles but you can't do like sort of on a diagonal but not on like a quarter I tried, I couldn't, but if I can, if you can, let me know, but I know that you can do it where they're on the diagonal, but it just didn't seem to be working for that, because it technically should have been a little bit further out, you know, from a true fire safety, but of course in the game it's not a thing, so it really, really doesn't matter. And I'm adding some window coverings, and this is where I decided to change the bed in this bedroom so that it wasn't under the window, because, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of having my bed right underneath the window. So I switched the wall and I added some more of those tree coverings and uh, of course there are some that comes out the the clothing rack I end up instead putting a picture that picture moves over there and then I realized later when I'm looking at it like actually while I was <laughs> looking at the editing the video that that picture I did it because it was trees and it kind of matched the theme but the colors didn't go so I changed it for another picture so the what's up on the gallery has a different picture than what was there and I do put a computer there it is a vacation place but you know I find that if they need to get medicine or order anything and if they you know want to do some uh, fun things in the family that I have come here on vacation it's uh, a couple and their two children a teen girl and a, a child who is a girl and the, all of the members of the family are geeks so they need computer <laughs> They need at least one computer to share to be able to get some games in or else they are very tense. And I'm out here on the uh, porch adding some lights and this is where I decide to move the house over and I add some patio furniture. I in the end get rid of that little chair and this is the only thing I didn't play test in the game. I made a type of sectional couch over there as you can see and like I said I didn't play test that. Everything else I did play test to make sure it worked. And I think I add oh some wind chimes from backyard stuff. They always like that and a chess table because that seems to be a nice thing to have at a uh, country calm thing to do and there is a bird feeder, a bonfire, all sorts of things for them to do outside. The pit there I put some chairs around it because essentially that was my take on the Adirondack chair since there is no so no Adirondack chairs in the game and I have a little uh, table out here to go with the barbecue and there's those wooden chairs that I grab out. I think they they are with outdoor retreat and I debate about adding a guitar or a violin but decide that if they want they can go buy that in uh, there you're able to buy that at the little kiosk and then I'm doing a whole bunch of landscaping here there is some landscaping that I end up doing off camera at the back of the house because I realize when I'm taking the pictures it looks kind of bare back there so I add more and I add them all around the trees and at the front right hand corner I end up adding one of those woohoo bushes and it's just lots of landscaping going on and of course the terrain paints I add that too and I move that I don't put it right down the side of the house because of the fact that we have on the right side there we have that horseshoe pit and on the other side we have the playground the monkey bars so there's not really room for a lot of landscaping beside those things so that's why I don't put it all the way down even off camera I don't either 
And I think we're getting into like doing the train paint and I do a couple of touch up things but then I think that's you know pretty much it if I remember correctly for the build itself. But after the uh, build and all this lands, this uh, train paint that I put around, I have uh, a little video walkthrough showing the family that the who had vacationed here and who I am uh, planning on doing another build for because at the moment they live in San Maishino in the large apartment that the uh, Fangs live but they think that it's probably not the best place. They want to expand their family, so they're going to try and move. So I am going to be doing a collab with Ironic Sims, and he's going to be building the outside of the house, and I'm going to just probably put in the rooms and stuff and then furnish and decorate it on the inside, and we will see if it meets their needs. And if not, perhaps we'll do another speed build and see if that one works. So as I said, here's the little video walkthrough, a really quick glance at the bedroom. That is the master bedroom and then the kids bedroom. Obviously you don't have to have a couple and their kids coming here. You could just have, you know, some friends coming for the weekend to or wherever for a couple of days to Granite Falls. Or like I said, you can put this in the regular world. I didn't, I don't know if I said it's 30 by 20 is the lot size that it's currently on. So that is the lot size you need to be able to fit everything on it or bigger obviously works too. And another quick look at the living area at the front and then as we go out we will see that the family is already visiting on the lot. As we swing around we see the little girl doing her homework and you can see the lovely view that there is and here's the only time I have had a sim put food in that bird feeder and not get attacked and get angry. <laughs> Normally the first time I use those things they get angry. And the mom making some food, a salad, as I always do when they have no skill, because she at this point doesn't have any cooking skill. Um, and uh, but she has now skilled up. They both have, both the parents have. So here we have the youngest setting the table, working on her responsibility, and you can get another look at the house. And they're all together using the horseshoe pit. Looks like she had a good one there. She's having fun and there's those birds still on the bird feeder from when they were fed before. We just get a quick look so you can see the, the four, the family of four that, as I said, I am going to be doing a collab with Ironic Sims and hopefully that will be their dream house because they'd like to expand their family and move to the country because they realize that we get lots of noisy neighbors up and neighbors are noisy all the time and then the Lily Fang always complains because she doesn't like kids so <laughs> it's not the best place for them to be living and mom had eaten earlier so now the rest of the family is eating and our youngest again is being very responsible here and cleaning up but she did actually make a mess <laughs> which I have had her clean up so the lot that's on the gallery does not have that mess and here they are ending on a barbecue or a bonfire I should say and oh that looks like it was a very hot marshmallow and we will switch to a pitcher after she's cleaned up the mess and then we will have a shot of the whole lot which shows the house plan and everything that's on it a little bit closer zoom in see the house a little closer and just some of the stuff on the lot Another shot of the build chat Rory's build challenge and we will end with a picture of the house from the front and I hope you enjoyed this. Tune in later to see the house that I'm going to be doing with the collab with Ironic Sims later this week. Thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye! If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much.